Hello! I'm going to show you a really cool party tricks today. It's one of those cool science tricks you can do at home or a party or anywhere you want to. It's perfectly safe and it's a lot of fun to do. Did you know that you can actually use a piece of paper and a pencil in order to make an electronic game? You don't need any soldering skills or a soldering station in order to do this. I have uh, prepared this simple circuit to demonstrate to you how that works, how it works in principle. All that you have to do is with a graphite pencil or a lead pencil or just a normal 2B pencil, you can draw some lines, some solid lines, over to the lead in order to give it some power. Of course you're going to need a battery and we're going to use a 9 volt battery here just to demonstrate it. It's safe and it's easy and everybody can do it. I'll add some electricity to it here just by connecting it to the terminals that I've drawn. And as you can see, there's light in the LED. And you can see here, it's not con nothing is connected behind here. It's just connected to, uh, to the LED itself. That I've drawn. It's a drawn circuit, if you like. But you can make a game out of this. And I've done that right here. This is my idea, because I was thinking... Uh, this stuff is actually pretty cool, so why not make a game out of it? So this is a maze. Uh, I have connected a RGB LED, which contains three LEDs in one. R, G, B, red, green, blue. And I've connected it to the various lines that I've drawn with the help of the pencil. And let's see if it works. I'm going to add a little bit stronger current to this one than the 9 volt, so you can see it much more easily. I'm going to turn it towards you. I'm going to connect 25 volts to this. All right. As you can see, there's no lights right now, but once I press one of these buttons, yeah, there are buttons. Watch this. You can see it now it's red, and now it's blue, not ah, green, and here it's blue. Okay, just to see that a little bit clearer, I'll shut down some of the lightning so you can see it. There you go, you should be able to see it quite clearly now. Yeah. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to draw a couple of lines to show you that this is no kind of a magic trick. It's actually quite normal science. I'm using a 2B Durbant sketching pen right here, but you can use any pencil that's 2B or above, even under that, but it's too hard and it become difficult to draw. So. I'll start right away. Just draw something. Need to get a really thick, solid line, otherwise it won't work. I'll draw some terminals here so I get connected. And while I'll, what I'll do just to um, get a good connection is that I will tape them to the connective points that I've made. I'll tape them to it. Make sure that everything is even so you get a good even contact. That reduces the chance of loose contact. This isn't dangerous. This is not going to catch fire or anything like that. So don't worry. Just to make sure you don't connect this to the outlet, <laughs> your power outlet. So don't do that. You don't want that to happen. All right. I'm going to make sure that it's really well stuck in there and get really good contact with the terminals. All right. That should do it. And there you go. As you can see, it's already lit. I can add some extra power because it's very bright in here. I can add some, put some 25 volts to it here just to show you. You can see it glows very brightly here. And there's no tricks to it. There's like nothing behind here at all. And that's how you do it. It's a very simple party trick and it's a lot of fun. And you can make a lot of combinations too if you want to. Remember we talked about these buttons that you can make, you know, 
and make sure that you get some kind of connectivity between the battery and uh, the LED simply by using your body as one gigantic resistor. You can use this trick to make a lot of different games, just like I showed you here with this Labyrinth game. That's not the only thing you can do, you can use your imagination. Just imagine making a variable uh, resistor, a potentiometer. You can vary the level of the brightness or the different colors, etc. etc. Maybe you can make a windmill out of paper and make uh, the colors spin around, etc. Still, no soldering needed. You can make so many things by doing this. It's a fun thing to learn and experiment with if you want to learn and get into electronics or just have some fun with the kids. Good luck and stay safe.